Hi guys, it's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a Shore Track heavy duty low profile beaver tail deck over unit. This unit's got a couple options on it that you don't always see uh, on trailers like this. I want to take you around this one, shows you all the standard features that Shore Track's got, then we'll also show you some of the features we like to put on units like this. So let me walk you around. I'll try to point them out quick and I'll give you a more detailed walk around on this trailer. So this is a 25 plus five, meaning it's got 25 flat deck, 25, or yeah, five foot of beaver tail. And then you've also got your five foot ramp. Uh, typically you would have a cleated self-cleaning dovetail. So you'd have cleats running across. This one we've done the oak deck, oak floor, and oak filled ramp. A uh, lot of pavers. So some guys will call this a paver trailer. They like this setup. Other folks do as well. Uh, just gives you decent traction going uh, up the ramp. Uh, more so than your self-cleaning uh, dovetail. So oftentimes too, uh, you'll see the, what I call quarter ramps, meaning they're about 20, 22 inches across. This has what I refer to as full width ramps. So you got two ramps uh, that pretty much cover the entire back of the trailer. It is a little bit, uh, I'll say heavier with an oak filled ramp. So it does have some extra springs on it to account for that. Still has some weight to it, but uh, nothing like if it uh, didn't have those extra springs. Uh, this has an HDSS suspension upgrade. We'll get to that in a bit. I believe on this, we do throw a few extra D-rings. They give you quite a few uh, standard, but I believe we add a few on there. And those are four inch rings as well. And then we add dual jacks and it's got the integrated front toolbox. So let me get started up front and we'll take you a walk around, show you the standard features as well. So this is a Pinnell 25 plus five short track, heavy duty low pro. Uh, this unit should weigh in somewhere probably 65 to 7,000 pounds. I would say standard about 65 as equipped. I, I'd imagine you're probably more like seven or better. Uh, this does have tandem 12K axles. They rate these at 25,900 pounds. Uh, just for some quick math, uh, 26,000 minus, I'll say seven empty. Uh, you're going to have about 19,000 pound of payload left. And you're actually going to probably end up a little more than that. Manufacturers counting uh, 2,000 pound of pin weight in. Two 12K axles is 24. They're stickering it at 26. Uh, realistic pin weight is going to be more like 15%, which is probably more like 4,000 pounds. So 19,000 on this should be a very safe uh, payload number. Uh, this does have a pin uh, We can potentially also have a ball. I think we can do balls on these up to 25,000 or so. Um, Integrated A-frame toolbox. This is not a standard, but we just think it gives you a nice spot for chains and binders. You can also do a um, side uh, side box if you'd like. It is lockable. Short Trek does a nice job. Uh, gusset in the I-beam where it comes in. Um, they do a uh, grommet where your wiring comes out, so you can worry about chafing the wiring. Uh, spare tire mount is standard. A spare tire is not standard. And then, as mentioned, we do the dual 12K jacks. If you've never had them, they've got grease search for some serviceability. Looks like our guys uh, got them plenty greased up for you to get started. Uh, Sidewind jack makes it nice. You got plenty of uh, cranking capability for these. If you've never had a, a jack like this, you don't have to carry around any wood blocks or similar. You've got plenty of adjustment on your inner sleeve. You pull your pin, let it come up and down. And then your outer sleeve would be uh, via your jack. Dual side steps are standard. We really appreciate some of the little attention to detail Short Track does. These tiny little cleats really grab onto your shoe or boot and uh, make it nice. We see some other ones that are uh, quite interesting how they make such a simple item like a side step or a stirrup step uh, difficult. Uh, three quarter inch bullet LED light standard trailer is powder coated. Uh, Short Track does one of the better jobs of our different brands at uh, really prepping the steel and uh, giving it a phosphate wash and uh, applying your powder. So as mentioned, I believe 10 D-rings are standard and I believe we had four more D-rings to this. So you've got rings up front for your implements. Uh, you've got your four inch rings on your outer and really it just tightens up uh, the rings going down the side and then you've got some on the beaver tail as well. In addition to the D-rings, you've got stake pockets, chain spools, uh, roughly two foot or closer centers. And then you've got the heavier quarter inch rub rail tying everything together. Uh, side rail on this is going to be a six inch channel. And then as you notice the 
top of the I-beam. This would be what we'd refer to as a pierced frame. So if you're looking at a trailer that doesn't have a pierced frame, it's generally gonna sit about four inches taller. I'll stick our head underneath here. But basically when you do a pierced beam, your cross member runs through the beam and your wood sits on top of the cross member. Whereas your normal trailer, you're gonna set a cross member uh, on top and then your wood on top of that. So you're gonna have three inch channel plus your lumber. You're saving about, give or take four, four and a half inches. Uh, as this is a low pro, part of getting it down lower, you'll know it's a pierce beam, you'll see the top of the I-beam, but then you also see uh, your tread plate over your fender well areas or over your wheel wells. This does have some outriggers on, I believe, four foot centers. This is USA Steel. Sticking our head underneath, this unit's got what Short Track's gonna refer to as cross track bracing. That replaces uh, what some manufacturers would call torque tube. This cross track bracing is a little bit lighter, which saves you weight, but it's actually more effective at actually tying together your trailer and keeping it uh, from flexing in an off road application. Let me walk farther back on the trailer, stick our head back underneath this, and we'll show you the. HDSS suspension. So if you're familiar with a normal 10,000 pound trailer running gear or 12K axle running gear, it looks a lot different. This is an adjustable trailing suspension. Uh, it's a lot heavier hangers. It's 100,000 pound tensile strength instead of traditional mild steel. A lot, lot, lot heavier duty. We option that on some of our short track with 12K axles. Uh, as far as tires, these are your typical uh, 10 ply, load range E, 16 inch. Uh, of course, brakes on all wheels, uh, oil bath hubs. This is a uh, Dexter 12,000 pound axle. <clears throat> Again, I, I mentioned we, we did upgrade this to an oak deck and then the beaver tail and ramps as well. So I, I did put one of the ramps down with one hand, be difficult to uh, you know, do it with one hand. You'll notice all the extra springs on these. It is a tubular bumper. It's a four by eight, or I'm sorry, a three by eight uh, tube at the rear. Has your stop turn tails and then your uh, marker lights. Short track does a nice job with a lot of little details on these. You got your cutouts in the rear. They put actual weep holes uh, at the edge so you don't get a bath on a traditional uh, trailer. So this is a rough cut oak. This unit's got your bars for your ramps. Short track did make these stand up, um, but as I understand it now, these have to ride in the downward position. I don't know that it'd be hard to make them stand up. You've already got your bars that just need a nubby on the ramp, uh, but they, they did stop that because it makes your lights harder to see uh, in a stand up application. So I do see some manufacturers that are not making them stand up at this point. But you do get the benefit of the full width loading and then if you wanna lay a flat level 30 foot, it's gonna be flat throughout. Mud flaps, it's got a gusseted beaver tail. Uh, this is a 16 inch on center uh, floor cross member. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I guess you saved the four inches on the pierce frame, what I didn't mention uh, is your standard pierce frame height's going to be 32, where your normal deck height's going to be 36 inches. That four inch difference, uh, certainly if you're loading a paver, means a lot. And even regular equipment, uh, it does make a pretty nice size difference. Uh, beam on this is a 12 inch I beam. And uh, if I could, I'll get back to the HDSS suspension I was saying about earlier. Uh, that's a 15,000 pound per axle suspension system. Uh, it's Dexter's version of the Hutch 9700 suspension system that you'll see on some of your semi rigs that aren't air uh, suspension. There'll be a Hutch 97. This would be a similar suspension to that. It says offered in different lengths. We stock it in a 20 plus five. We do some of these in a 23 plus five. And then the 25 plus five, generally we're gonna do with 12,000 pound axles. Do these in the panel shown here. We also do them in goosenecks as well. If you have any questions on these, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.